Ah, so here's this stupid fan again. On this cheap thing. I've decided I'm going to actually take it apart. Well, I would take it apart if I could find the, um, my screwdriver that I had up here to take this apart with. Looks like I'm going to have to go get one. Oh, I'm impressed the camera didn't fall over. Get that back so you can see that. And of course, going to remember the that stupid sticker on the back. Oh, I need to plug the camera in. Get that one out there. And let me find the camera's plug. Alright, so anyways, using this incredibly, shall we say, not factory setup right now. Let's keep going. I wonder how much time I wasted with that. That was I have a system updating Windows 10 in the background, so if you start hearing funny noises or if the computer explodes, that's why. I think it's more likely that the computer will explode actually because it's Windows 10. And Windows 10 is, as we know, horrible. And I'm not willing to debate my stance on the matter because this is not a video for that. Oh yes, I have to remember this stupid sticker on the bottom that they put in on there. Probably to prevent people from tampering with the fan. Because if you, I guess if you slice that sticker open, it voids your warranty. Not that it really matters, because I'm pretty sure this only had a one year warranty on it, and it has certainly been more than a year. But I want to keep the sticker intact for whatever it's worth. Which is to say, probably close to nothing. So, that's exactly what I'm just going to do. I think I have all the screws. Oh, yep. There's four screws here. It looks like they've got plastic bits on the end. So that's real, real nice. Of course, keeping that in mind... This is China Pride, after all. I hope this wasn't clipped. Oh. Well, alright, that's a start anyways. Probably remove the switch. Look at this. There's like globs of dust in here. I'm not even sure how that happens. So I'm gonna have to get a vacuum cleaner in here to actually come in and clean this out. Because that's not, that's worse than I was expecting to find. My paintbrush here. And I'm going to use that to clear off this back piece. Which isn't working too well. I've done this before in the past. I'm probably just going to use it to clean that up. But I need to get the vacuum cleaner in here and use that to clean out the dust. Yeah, for all of you who have been wondering why I don't ever use tripods, well, it's because I don't like them. And this one takes the cake for the single worst tripod that I've got in my possession right now. So let's see if I can do this without screwing everything up. <laughs> Good enough. Looks clean. So I guess that much is a benefit. It's not perfect. There's still dust. There's still dust in it, but I'm not going to be able to get that perfect. I do have, or had anyways, a duster up here. I could probably use that to clear out whatever's left because most of what's left is just surface dust that's stuck to it. 
But even then, I don't really care much because there's not really any reason for... Oh, I want to point this out. Here's proof that this is low quality. Um, real low quality. Now, if we take a look here, this piece... No, I'm going to have to pick the camera up in order to do that, but... If we take a look here at this particular... This thing, you'll see all of those imperfections in the plastic. If this were a high-quality piece, we wouldn't have that problem. It will be nice. It will be smooth. Maybe a few imperfections here or there, but that whole piece of plastic is crap. And that is what distinguishes this as being yet just yet another piece of China Pride and really not worth my time. You know, if this were a nice fan, I would worry myself about maybe making this spin better. But it's China Pride. Who cares? Not me. I can't even get this stupid blade off. It's just permanently stuck there. So, yeah. Whatever. Nobody cares. Certainly not me. Uh, it's designed to be just throw away. Which is really unfortunate. I would love to find a nice replace, nice vintage replacement for this, and that's not a an invitation to send me anything in the mail because I probably won't accept it. I don't accept anything over YouTube, and I don't really. Oh, here's another thing I wanted to point out. I don't really uh, do much. These screw terminals. If we take a look here. Look at how imperfect those are. That's where all those plastic pieces are coming from. It's because these screw terminals are crap. Throw away. I would throw this away because it's basically useless. But I don't want more of this junk filling up the landfill, so I'm stuck with it. When it fails, I'll probably smash it with a baseball bat, maybe. And then do something else with it that's a little bit more interesting than just throwing it away. I have this here. I'm going to coat this in a little bit of Windex, wherever the Windex went. Once again, cleaned up in here. Can't find anything. I have a scanner sitting up behind my bed, beside the bed, and it was being covered by that. <laughs> Alright, so this piece of paper is kind of junky, but do this to get the dust and whatever that was. Probably a Coke. I think I spilled a, a little bit of Coke in this at some point. Um, but I can't remember. Usually I'm not that much of a klutz, so I can't imagine that that's what would have caused some of the dirt buildup. Uh, pfft. rest of the dust, nobody cares. So I'm just gonna put this back together. Not me, anyways. I'll put it back together. I would plug it in, but the camera is running out of battery. I'm gonna put the sticker back on. And already the sticker is coming off. Put the screws back in with all of their plastic goodness all over them because cheap fan. I'll probably find that when I turn it on it's going to start arcing or it'll blow up in my face. I'm surprised at how how well the glossy finish has held up on this thing because usually those end up looking like crap after about two minutes. The camera doesn't have any batteries and I don't have another camera that's got batteries. Actually I just got a new phone. I could have probably just used that but could probably bring that crevice tool downstairs and along with the piece of china pride. All right, after a brief detour, I had to weigh the cat for a minute because um, the cat's on a diet right now. We had to, uh, well, I am going to clean the uh, the exterior surfaces of this thing, at least as best as I can. At least get some of this junk off of it. It's not coming off very well. I wonder what that actually even is. So there we go. Nice and shiny. Well, okay, nice is a bit of a subjective term. I can see the indentations for the plastic and the molding. I can see those on the outside of the fan, which is once again indicative of the quality. So, yeah, I'm probably going to rant about China Pride at some point, maybe on my live show next week. 
I can't do it this week. This week was actually a rant about web browsers, uh, which I might, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling the mood, I might actually upload that to YouTube. I know you're there. I'm in the middle of shooting a video. Okay. So let's start it up on low. Ooh, that sounds nice. Not sure if you can hear that. Probably. Like I said, I'm trying to—I don't need the tripod anymore. But uh, cheap China pride, and that's what this is. Oh, that was high. My bad. <laughs> Two speed. Listen to that. I think the blade is loose, and that's the issue, but it's not like I can fix that. It still moves air. So I guess that's a bonus from everything else. It actually moves quite a bit of air. I should have done the same thing to the other one. The sunbeam over there while I was at it, but I don't really feel like taking that out of its corner right now. The fan speed changes when I angle it. That's kind of bad. It looks like there's some crap that was spilled between the corners that I probably should have gotten out of there while I had it apart. But for a cheap piece of You hear that? I'm turning it around and the blade is slowing down. What a piece of crap. I think the this is some spillage from aforementioned Coke spill. That's clean. So at least that much is done and dealt with. But I think that's pretty well it for the video. The fan runs, barely, but it runs. Um, this is actually the newest fan out of all the ones that I've got, and it runs the worst, so, <laughs> Quality. Very high quality.